the U.S. invasion to Panama is a black history we suffer as Panamanians. I wouldn't wish it upon anyone as a national, as a member of this society. We experienced difficult circumstances during that stage where mistakes were made. A mistake of people requesting a U.S. invasion and others determined to massacre the Panamanian society, their own brothers. Thus, this was a regrettable episode, a black history of this society. Definitely, there is an investigation being carried out, but nowadays we don't know how many people died. Regardless if they were soldiers or civil victims, but society needs to know who were and how many of them were. There are innocent people who died. I think it is important to find out. The history of our country must teach us that these situations cannot be extremely repeated. And as a Panamanian, as a member of a democratic society, what we have to do is to talk every day, to have differences, yes, because we will always have them, but to reach an agreement, reach an agreement on the best management of the nation. December 20 is a sad history for Panamanians and I hope that never ever we will experience it again. 27 years after December 20, there is just a question to ask regarding what the United States never did in Panama, compensating all those who unfairly suffer the brutality of an unneeded invasion. Because to overthrow Noriega, it was unnecessary to test all those bombs that they test here. It would have been an operation of capturing him and that's it. However, they didn't do it. They did a show of force that was totally unnecessary. 27 years after, what we have to ask is, as people from other countries were compensated, why non-Panamanians was compensated for death, destruction and violence caused that fateful December 20? Panama invasion could be seen from different views. One is the claim of the victims of the amount of deaths that we haven't ended counting yet. The Independent Commission Ramsey Clark, where I participate, highlights that there are more than 7,000. But more than the deaths, we must start to tell what happened with those children that were left orphans due to the invasion. How many of those children have become part of gangs? How many of those children have been unprotected by the state that has not vindicated the memory of their parents nor their right to be happy children?